Okay, in this video, we're going to look at some problems involving distributive property and adding like terms. When you add like terms, you have to have the exact same variable. So when we tackle a problem like 13, uh, there's no distributive property to do, so we're just adding things with the same variable. I think it's always easier to change your subtraction to plus a negative, all right, because minus 7y and negative 3y are what your actual values are. Addition is a much better uh, operation than subtraction. So we look at 3x and 8x to get 11x, and then we have um, those are like terms because they both have an x. And then we got negative 7y, 2y, and negative 3y. Well, negative 7 plus negative 3 is negative 10, plus a positive 2 gives you a negative 8y. You could have also had negative 11, or 11x minus 8y as a possible answer as well. 14, you're going to just do the distributive property first. Whenever you can do the distributive property, you should. 3 times 4x, 3 times a negative 3y, which would give you 12x plus a negative 9y, and then 2 times 2y and 2 times negative 5x gives you a positive 4y and a negative 10x. Now the problem is just like 13, which is just adding like terms, so you find 12x, negative 10x to give you a net positive 2x, because 12 is bigger than 10, and then negative 9y plus 4y is a negative 5y. So the correct answer on this, simplified, is 2x plus negative 5y after going through and doing your uh, distributive property and adding like terms. 15, similar thing, except you need to make sure you understand how to multiply by an x. 3x times 2y is just 3 times 2, which is 6, and then x times y, which is just xy. Nothing more. Don't make it more complicated than that. 3x times 3 is just 9x. Just do 3 times 3, and the x just comes along for the ride. 4y times negative 2y is a negative 8. And you can either put y, x, or I like to put them in alphabetical order, so x, y, but those are the same because of the commutative property. And then 4y times 1, which is plus 4y. The only like terms on this problem are the x, y's, and so you end up with negative 2x, y, because negative 6, or 6 plus negative 8 is negative 2. And then the x and the y parts you just write down as they are because they're, they're not like terms. 16 is a double distributive property problem. Some call it FOIL. I think it is double distributive property where I'm going to do A times 2C to get 2. AC, again, alphabetical order is what I like to do. A times 4D gives you 4AD. So that's the first distributive property. The second distributive property is 3 time, 3B times 2C, which is 6, 3 times 2, and then BC. And then 3B times 4 is 12BD. Add like terms. Well, it turns out there are no terms to add. And so that's your final answer. 2AC plus 4AD plus 6BC plus 12BD.